is Stephanie from Scrap and Create, and we are working on page four and five. And basically, the interactive elements are going to be the same. Oftentimes, I'll just do a mirror image of the papers, but I decided to do something a little bit different. But the cut list, like I said, is going to be the same. And it's just going to have a left version and a right version. And it's pretty straightforward. And I think it makes uh, for an interesting page. I've seen a couple of pages done like this where they look uh, more layered and I liked it. So I decided to give it a spin. So let's get to the base and we'll talk about what's going on. Okay, so um, for the base, we're gonna use a solid eight by eight. And this is um, the blue boats. Now the boats don't come in an eight by eight in red. So this is actually from the 12 by 12. So I'll move these pieces just so you can see where I'm headed. So I wanted to use um, sort of the same version of uh, this print, but like I said, um, it's only available in the 12 by 12 patterns and solids in red. There was no eight by eight version. The blue does come in an eight by eight version and that's what I'm using on the left-hand side. Okay, let's set aside those designer papers for a second. I just wanna make that clear. It's an easy thing to forget. Um, this is from the eight by eight collection and this is, also from the 8x8 collection. So for now, we're gonna get started by laying down this flap, which is three and a half by eight, three and a half by eight. And we're gonna put one on uh, the left side and one on the right side. There we go. And then I've got another one right here. Okay, again, both of these are three and a half by eight. Three and a half by eight. Can you guys hear Nala? She's talking to me. Okay, I just want to make sure I've got this, this going the right side uh, up. And I do. So again, this is going on the left side. On page five, it's going on the right side. It's almost time for a WLK, W A L K, but not yet. I have to get my son in. I've already done that in his uh, class in the next half hour, and then I can get her out for a walk. She's she's a real sweetheart, but she has a really hard time with other dogs when we're walking. So I have to wait until mid morning when most of the dog walkers are done so that we don't have conflicts. Um, Cause she's pretty, pretty big dog. She can pull me off my feet if, if she's determined. Okay. <clears throat> and I think she's all bark, no bite. I think if she actually got away from me, she wouldn't do anything. She just wants to get to the other dog. Okay, so that's in. Um, I haven't figured out how I'm going to close these yet, so I have to keep that in mind as we're moving forward. Okay, so the next major piece is this blue. Okay, I, I just need to reconstruct things a little bit. I'm using an ephemera card, and it's going to be layered on top of this flap, <clears throat> like so. And then I'm going to use another four by six photo mat and I've cut pa paper for both sides and it's gonna go like this and it's actually gonna get attached to the ephemera card. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'll put this paper down, cover um, this extension, leaving the back exposed because I think that's where my magnet's gonna be and then I can go ahead and cover at least the top side of this and um, this is actually going to be a photo mat that's do I have that right? I said that wrong. This is going to be a photo mat that's actually attached. This, I'm sorry, wrong side. This side down. <laughs> that's going to uh, lay flat on this base page. So I think the magnet's going to go behind here and behind um, this piece, which is going to get attached first. So I'll attach these two pieces find a magnet placement here and then find a magnet placement behind this mat. So I've already got a mat cut out for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just glue this down to the mat. 
and then I'm just be shuffling a lot less paper. And then I'm going to glue the ephemera card down to the mat. And then the next thing we'll do is cover this panel. Drank too much coffee this morning. I can feel it getting the jitters. I used to be able to drink coffee all day. I don't know what happened, but now I drink two cups and I can't talk in my handshake. We uh, announced, of course, you guys are going to get this a little bit late, but we just announced our pre orders for the Graphic 45 new collections. And wow, were they popular! We had a great day yesterday. So if you haven't, get up, get out there, get your pre-orders set. Okay, so that's going to get installed something like this. So then the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and mount this. And again, I'm trying to get to where I've just got a lot less papers to shuffle around as we're moving forward. And I just realized something. Probably, probably wanted the magnet on the top side of this, but I'm going to wind up putting it on the back side. It'll be fine. And I think I need to trim this down a little bit. I'm going to use my X-Acto knife. My mat's a little bit too big. So I'm going to trim that down. You can see where it's crooked. More better. Okay, so that's going to get installed like so. And then this is the mat that's going to go right behind here. So that's what it's going to look like later. So I'm going to go ahead and get this mat down. And then I'm going to leave this exposed because we're going to put a magnet back here. Stop it, babe. I'm not ready. Not ready. I did a better job trimming this mat out. Okay. All right. And then let me get that out of the way. The last thing we're doing on this side is, here we go. Adding this. And I mentioned it, but this is from the 8x8. Oh, I think I forgot to tell you what the blue is from. Also from the 8x8. Once I get page four done, I'm going to take a break, take care of Nala, and then also what I'm going to do while I'm away is I'll go ahead and mount all my elements so you don't have to sit and watch that. But I, I am using a couple of different pieces of paper, and I'll go over that before we actually do the installation. Okay, that's done. Okay, we're ready to glue this down. It's so hard to be you, I know. Oops, I got a bubble in there. That doesn't happen very often, but there we go. I think it's because there's some magnets or something on the other side. Okay, that's in. Okay. So it's going to close like that. We can... Sorry, I dropped something. So before we can uh, finalize the location for this, we're going to have to figure out where the magnet is. So we can go ahead and add this. And then on the flip side, I'm going to install... Oh, that's crooked. I have to fix that too. 
um, this red background. It's still a little crooked, but it's better. Okay, so it's going to go like so. So you can see there's a little gap. Hopefully you can see. Let me see if I can find a contrast piece. I'll slip this under here so you can see. So the plan is that once you install this ephemera card on the flap, you're going to have a little bit of a gap between um, this flap and this mat. And the way I want this is I think I want the red piece pretty much centered on the flap. And then I want the ephemera card slightly off center like so. So if you wanted, you could put a little bit of journaling down here. So it's going to look like that. Okay, so let me get my ruler and tell you what I'm doing. So it looks like that would be a half inch. So one, two, three, four. I'm coming in from the edge about five eighths. So a little bit past not quite three quarters, somewhere in between three quarter and a half inch. And you need to make sure you're over far enough because the last element is this and you need to have, we want the mat offset and there needs to be room for the blue around it. So I'm actually going to scoot it over and let's go with a half inch on this side. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's my plan, a half inch right there. So as usual, it's difficult to figure out where the glue is going to go. So what I do is I turn it over end over end, not side to side. And then I'm going to place it at a half inch and then I'll know I need glue on this side. <clears throat> there we go. Just because I'm trying to hold too many things, I'm going to put a little mark on either end and get our glue on. Okay. That's a lot of glue. Coming out really heavy for some reason. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is actually what is the next thing I want to do? Get this out of the way. So we want that gap. There's my half inch mark. And when I'm done, I'll tell you how far it came down from the top. <clears throat> one and three quarters from the top edge of the flap to the top edge of the photo mat one and three let me double check one and three quarters and this is slightly off There we go. Okay, so you're going to come down one and three quarters, come across a half inch. Now that's in. I'll burnish this. It's okay if blue's coming out because we're going to cover that. Burnish all that into place. And the next thing is we're going to install the red piece. And that's about what I what I want. Actually, it needs to come over a little bit more so we can get that blue piece under and still have a little bit of an offset. Okay, I think that's what we're going to do. So let's see. Okay, so this is one and three quarters off the top of the ephemera card. One and three quarters off the top of the ephemera card. And I'm going to do, um, sorry. 
You have to figure out one and three quarters. Okay. So the one and three quarters is going to be down here. Because when I flip it over, it'll be reversed. So I know that I need glue between those lines. So between here and here. And then I think, let's look at this, but I think what I want is a half inch here. Oh, that's pretty tight. I'm gonna make it a quarter inch. So we're gonna have a quarter inch gap between the flap and this panel. And that lives, that lives three quarters of an inch on this side. So I'm gonna come down an inch. And so I know I need glue now between these two lines and this edge. Actually, I did that backwards. I'm gonna install it this way so I could put my lines on this side. Sorry about that, guys. So come off about a half inch and put your little marks. We can erase what we don't need. So the glue is going to go between these lines. It's hard to see. Okay. So I just drew the lines so that you can see where you're gonna put your glue and then you're gonna lay it underneath. I did it backwards. I actually thought I was gonna be gluing on this side and that's okay, it's gonna get covered with paper. But, oh, sorry, hold on. Hey, sorry about that. That's uh, that's pretty typical when somebody uh, comes to the door and all it goes kind of bonkers. Anyways, uh, got that settled. So we're gonna get that glue down. Oh gosh, spit. Um, inside the lines as I had mentioned. And then any lines that are exposed after I get it glued down, I'll just erase. So I use a pencil for that reason, but it's up to you. Okay, so now, as I mentioned before, I want about a half, no, did I say a half inch? Ugh. I think it's a half inch. And I just want to use the ruler to, to make sure I'm getting uh, a straight install. So it's actually... It's not straight. Is it? It is. Okay. It doesn't look straight, does it? it? Didn't look straight across the top. Part of it is my mats aren't straight and that causes a problem. Okay, so that is in. And I've got a little bit of cleanup to do. Of course, I can't find my eraser. Here it is. <clears throat> I'm sorry about the noise. Um, the gardeners are here. I'm almost done with this, so I'm going to wrap it up and then I'm going to take a break uh, before we come back and do page five. So it'll be quieter. So the next thing we're going to do is, um, I'm actually meant to put a strip in here and I have one. I can't remember what color it is for this side. This is blue, I think it's red. Okay, so we just need to cut a, a thin strip that's gonna fit right here, <clears throat> which doesn't need to be very wide. I think that'll do. Let me ink it. This is something I should have done before. Um,
before I glued this top on. So that's what we'll do. We'll do it differently on page five. I can't get it in. I'm gonna have to lift it up a little on both sides. Just using a spatula. Now it should fit. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, leave this in here with it tipped up. I'm going to uh, take my blade and trim that off. <clears throat> and I'm going to put a little piece of paper under it so that it doesn't actually get glued down. So I'm just trying to find a strip of scrap paper that I can use. Okay, now I'm going to use my blade, and I, I'm doing this the hard way for sure. I'll try to remember. I hadn't built a page like this, so I'm living and learning, um, as we often do. Now, you want to trim it, but you also want to be careful not to trim through the other side. <clears throat> That's not coming across there partially. There we go. All right, not perfect, but it's better than having uh, exposed um, Actually, I'm not happy with that at all. I'm going to have to come back and do something here. Maybe add some ink. <clears throat> but the next thing is going to be this panel. So I don't want this to be exposed. I want something here. I'm going to try to clean this up a little bit. When we do page five, I'm, I'm going to remember to put that strip in there before I add it to this flap. Okay. So that is that. We don't want to put this in yet because we still need to place a magnet, but we are ready to figure out where this is going to go. I think it's going to look like that. So um, we need to place a magnet. I think it's going to be right around here. Here. There we go. <clears throat> Yep, that looks good. All right. <clears throat> the other the other thing we could do is turn a photo mat this way. But I kind of like that. I like this. So I I don't know. What do you guys think? We have that. This. I'm not sure. Okay. So Actually, I need to put, I think, the magnet on this side first. So once we know where it's going, so the magnet needs to be about right here. I may need to adjust the other one. All of this would have been a lot easier if I hadn't covered this, right? I'd just glue it down and then we'd figure out where the magnet is. I think this needs to be changed. So uh, page five will definitely be easier. <laughs> so if you haven't started, wait till you see page five. And um, you might be 
pleased to see it'll be a lot easier to construct. Just want to make sure it's far enough over, and it is. Okay, so I'm happy with that, so we can go ahead and glue this down. <clears throat> it in upside down it doesn't really matter I guess I uh, met this should have been the other way around the magnet would have been up here but that's it's fine it uh, doesn't really matter as long as if it, it's gonna be hidden behind this panel and it will be <clears throat> right, so I decided what I'm gonna do there and it's a cheat but it's one worth knowing First, let's get this magnet in. There we go. So it's supposed to have a black border around it, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a black border around it with a Sharpie, and then it will look fine. You won't see all that white paper. Maybe. I need to reverse okay reverse the ruler I think it was standing off the edge too far okay problem solved a little bite right there and of course that'll be less obvious once I put my mat down I haven't done that in a long time. I have done it before, but not in a long time. I've done it when I forgot to ink the edge. I don't know why this won't close. There it goes. Okay, so what's next, guys? The next thing is this. And I don't know what I have for this. from the eight by eight. And it's the flip side of this piece right here. And then we have this. Finally. Had a couple of hiccups here, but I think all in all it looks good. I learned a few lessons about magnet placement. <laughs> in my haste to get all my extra papers um, glued down so that I wasn't shuffling so much, um, I did this and if I would have just put the mat here and not the uh, paper it would have been easier to place the magnet and the magnet would have been on the top side but it still works um, it's just not preferred okay. <clears throat> and you could still replace that strip if it bothered you I'm gonna leave it as is there we go 
Okay, so that is page four. And page five is going to look essentially the same. This is slightly uh, off center, and so it will be on page six or five as well. Um, and I will construct it differently. Um, so if you haven't done this yet, you might want to wait, see what I do on page five, because I'm definitely, I learned some things here, and I'm definitely going to switch the sequence around so that I get the magnets on the right pieces. Um, on the right side of the, they're, they're in the right spot. They're just on the wrong side of the panel. And I think that'll, that'll be good. And it'll, I'm not terribly worried about it because we're not going to have a ton of layers here, but, but it's always best to keep the magnets as close as possible so that you retain, um, the attraction. Okay. So we'll make sure I'll make sure I make those uh, corrections going into page five. Okay. Be back soon. Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page five. And if you started at the beginning of this video, you saw that I did page four, which is a mirror image, but I'm using a few different uh, patterns. But I, I learned a lot from four, and I'm gonna apply those lessons to page five. And mostly it has to do with uh, magnet placement and how to get that figured out. So I did a few things offline. One, I went ahead and matted and added um, a strip of red paper because when you when you open it up you're gonna you're gonna see um, this red strip and I had forgotten to do that on page four and then just cut a piece and put it in there I think it's a lot easier to have it there in the beginning so I went ahead and did that and then behind um, this is going to be a matted piece of blue cardstock so I went ahead and covered that but I left the back um, uncovered because that is where we're gonna put a magnet. And then lastly, we've got this matted um, photo mat that's gonna go here, and I'm not going to apply this paper because the opposing magnet is gonna go here. So I will go ahead and lay it down. I just won't cover it until we're ready to move forward. Okay, so those are kind of the lessons that I learned. So let's go ahead and get started. So we can definitely cover the base and the front and back of this flap. So let's get those papers out of the way right now. Nothing needs to go behind any of those. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I got a text and I just wanted to make sure it wasn't interrupting the video. I did have a problem uh, in this series of tutorials where something came in and interrupted the video and I had recorded, I had thought I was recording for about an hour and then when I went to download the video there was basically a freeze frame. So for one, it did record for an hour but it was a, a freezed frame. So that was a, a bit frustrating, so I'm going to be a little bit more cautious moving forward. Okay, uh, this is from the 12 by 12 Patterns and Solids. This is from the 8 by 8 Collection Pack. Oh, I just got back from a walk with my dog, and now she wants me to play B-A-L-L. -L. I'm not going to say the word. <laughs> but I really want to wrap this up so I can get it uploaded. And it is going to go a lot faster because of the lessons I learned. And then I pre-glued some of the mats, so eight by eight. You could use your 12 by 12 here too. It's just a larger scale. It's just, it's the same pattern, just scales different. Okay, so that's in. And so the cover, we're pulling the same pattern in that we used on page four. Okay, I'm just dry fitting it one more time. So again, you can do the base and the front and back of the flap. And then the next few pieces are where, you know, we, we get things placed and then add our magnets. I was so anxious to get my loose papers glued down, I, I didn't do it in the right order on page four. Okay, so now that's in. Okay, so the next thing is uh, this needs to get added to this panel and then we're gonna add this piece behind uh, the ephemera card. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
So I need to do a little bit of planning on how far in. So I'm going to pull in page four. And I think... I think that's about right. Actually, I already drew some lines. So yeah, I think that's about right. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I, I had tested it before and then I drew around the card and that's where I'm going to place my glue. And then we're going to lay down the card and then we'll add both pieces to the flap. And you could do it the other way. You could add this and then add... Um, the blue, but this is just how I chose to do it. Okay. Whoops, I need a little in that corner here. There we go. So I'm just looking for an even border around these two edges. That's done. Let's get this out of the way. So now we're going to install all of this on here. And I like it. So that's what we're going to do. So let's get my ruler. The glue line needs to come in to two and a quarter. So we're going to put this in, come down two and a quarter. And basically all the way across from that line down is going to be glue. And you can measure everything down and I'll give you the measurements, but I'm just eyeballing it. And then when I'm done, I'll give you the measurements, but it, you know, it's really what looks good. Now I do want there to be a pretty shallow gap here. I think I did three eighths of an inch on the other one. So that's basically what I'm going to do here. And I'm just going to eyeball it. There's three eighths right there. That's too low. Sorry. It needs to come up a little. Mm. Actually, I wanted to go up a little further than this, but we're going to make it work. Okay, so now we've got the last piece, which is this photo mat. And we are going, I was going to place it down here, but I, it's too crowded. So it is going to come up here. We're gonna do that. So this photo mat can go ahead and be glued down. And then we can place our magnets. I think I did that backwards. Yeah, this, this piece was supposed to be up higher, but I still like it, it's fine. It's fine. So I'm just gonna hold it behind this mat and figure out where to put it. I think that looks good. Now I'm just gonna make sure it's a straight line. Maybe. <laughs> and it is, so we're, we're done with that. Okay, now we need magnets, so let's do that. And then we can cover those last two panels. So here is the piece that I've um, trimmed out for this. 
Oh, and I'll give you the measurements once I get my mats covered of basically how far down this came. But again, it's really visual, what's visually pleasing. And it could vary depending on what patterns you use. So I think this looks good with these patterns, but if you mix up your patterns, um, you may just want to fuss around with it until you figure out what looks best. Because if it's got images on it, you're going to want to do your offset based on um, an image, which is one of the reasons why this is so simple from a pattern perspective, because I could cut into or lay on top of this anywhere and not cut an image in half, if that makes sense. Whoop. Some reason that didn't look right. I'll try it upside down. Nope, it looks better this way. For some reason, even though it appears straight, and I test it multiple times, I go to lay it in, and I'm like, ah, it's not straight. And I can see it's not straight up there. So part of that's because I'm rushing. I gotta stop doing that. Okay, and this is the last piece. It's gonna be applied here. And it's inked and ready to go. I don't think I remember telling you, but these photo mats basically um, are are based on the size of the ephemera card. And basically, this is a four by six, as this is. Both of the photo mats or this panel extension is four by six. Know why it's making so much noise but it is okay all right i hope you guys are ready for mother's day i'm gonna go spend the day with my mom my son's working so i'm actually gonna go see him at work afterwards he's working at a restaurant called islands which I don't, I, it's probably a west coast thing it might even just be a california thing um, it's a burger place, um, but it's sit down. So I'll go in and surprise him. He's not expecting me. Okay. So that is, and this will make for, you know, you could easily put a photo offset here or a photo centered from here. Let me just in a little bit. I'll show you what I mean. Like so. And then when you close it, it still looks very nice. Um, I always try to keep in mind what is going to be exposed when all the flaps are closed. Because if you put the photo mat up here, that might really cut your photo off in an awkward way. So I didn't want to have this sticking out too much. That allows you to put a nice mat around your photo. And then maybe just a little bit of the edge would show. Or you could even just crop it down a little bit more so it's completely hidden behind this panel. Now on the flip side, it doesn't matter because it's once it's in the closed position, you know, nothing is sticking out. It's just whatever's underneath the two main flaps. So that is, and I can tell that this is a much better plan because the magnet's tracking uh, more strongly because it's not behind an extra piece of uh, cardstock. So... Hopefully you didn't jump right into page four and you can learn the lessons from page three. I'm going to run a banner or a ticker tape along the bottom urging you guys to wait and watch the page five version before you get started and jump in and learn some of the lessons I did from page four a little earlier in the build process. Okay, so that is page five. Let's pull in page four so you can see these two side by side. There they are. Beautiful. I'm very happy with that. So now what I still owe you is the measurements. So, <clears throat> and I, I went over it in page four. Um, so for page five, it's a little bit different. Um, I came down three quarters of an inch from the top to put the photo mat, uh, um, a quarter of an inch from the edge. And then this ephemera card is, two, four, five eighths off the bottom, five eighths off the bottom. And I think on this one, I did three quarters. So it's a, an eighth of an inch difference. But again, it's all about what visually looks appealing to you. Um, 
And I was pretty happy with where this looks. And the, the nature of this design, I don't know why my glue is just not sticking. This is weird. Um, the nature of the de design allows for a little bit of shifting on either side to come up with the ideal layout. So it's really not, you don't have to worry about precision here. My goodness. If it's not one thing, it's 10. <clears throat> I have got to clean my glue chip. I'm not going to do anything else until that happens because this keeps happening. It's either not coming out or it's coming out so thick that it keeps pressing right out of the uh, and making a mess. So, all right, that's that. I'm just going to hold that in place for a few minutes, let it dry, and then clean up my glue line there. So that's it for page four and five. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. Be back soon.